everyone. Welcome back to Show Me How to Win. We're visiting Taipei, Taiwan, and we're interviewing Zhi Fan from Homo Sapiens Lab about Electropolis. Zhi Fan is the developer of Electropolis. This is a game that was a government-sponsored board game design contest about energy and energy knowledge. So Zhi Fan, tell us the how this game come about. 什么这个游戏是怎么出生的？它是在二零一七年的时候，就是台湾的能源局他们办的一个桌游设计比赛。那这个比赛它就是专注在就是能源相关的桌游设计这样子。那这是那个游戏那个比赛当时的首奖第一名这样子。对，然后后来才由我来做编辑跟后续的发行这样。Okay, so um I've seen this game a lot on Instagram this year because you guys put it out last year, 2019, right? 二零一九年初的。啊、uh, ，对，对对对对。然后呃， uh, 出来的时候，其实我在 IG 上面看到很多跟他有关的。我想说 ，This is a game coming from Taiwan that has really interesting art and an interesting theme. So I'm really excited about checking this one out. So earlier, Zhi Fan told me a little bit about how to play. So uh, over eight rounds, players basically try to draft tiles and place tiles on their board, and we're mayors in different cities, and we're trying to basically plot our energy, right? To uh, make sure that uh, we balance our public support versus pollution and and uh, power grid. So on each turn, at the beginning of each turn, from rever reverse player order, uh, players decide how many tiles they want to take each turn. So you can take two, three, four, or f up to six tiles. But the more you take, the later you get to take them. So after everyone has say place their tile, place their um, Markers. Then, from the front, the person who takes least will get to take first. And the tiles they take has to be connected, and、uh, they also have to pick a card. So each card will tell you how what area you have to place these tiles.、Um, the power plants at the end of the game are only going to be scored if you have the correct fuel for them. And there's four different kind of power plants. There is、uh, coal. Gas, nuclear, and green power, right? Okay, so, and if you are able to connect them, then you'll get more、uh, power out of them. And the more power you get, the more points you get. But you also have to balance between public support and the pollution because you might have to take negative points on that. All right, so that's basically the gist of the game. You play eight rounds, and then at the end of the game, you have to feed your power plant and you cal calculate your points, right? Okay, so. Zhifan, this is a. I know the turn order is very important in this game. So, you're the developer. Give me some tips on how to bid the turns and what kind of things should we pay attention at the beginning of the game. So, in the game first, we should do what kind of action? Okay, let us know what we can do to make the game better. Okay, I think the first thing is that the power plant is very important in the game. Okay, I think the first thing is that the power plant is very important in the game. Okay, I think the first thing is that the power plant is very important in the game. Okay, I think the first thing 二十四个空格要填满，对，所以其实平均来讲的话，每回要填进去三片，对，那再加上呢，有一些呃燃料，因为燃料它不会放进去，它会放在旁边，对，再加上有一些燃料，所以其实平均每回合最好是可以拿到四片或者之类的，因为你有些时候可能需要去踩很前面的顺位。对，去抢一些重要的、重要的东西，对，所以可能要拿到四片以上。所以在游戏开始的时候，我会建议大家其实可以稍微踩到后面一些些，对，那这样的话就是呃让自己的准备可以多一点。So at the beginning of the game, try to get more tiles. Maybe later on, at the, after towards the end, you'll know what you need. Then you start trying to take the beginning beginning rounds. Okay, what kind of power is better? 什么样的发电厂，在你来说觉得比较好，或者说分数会比较高？啊，其实其实我觉得就是。因为里面有这四种发电厂嘛，对，四种发电厂，其实我觉得其实都是必备的，只是说它可能，它可能就是根据自己，呃的，呃遇到的状况，所以它的配比可能稍微不一样。但唯独有一个状况，其实是不能全部都是绿能。哦 ，really？ 对，因为其实绿能的发电量实在，坦白说是真的过少。对对，所以如果全部都是绿能的话，你可能，呃，不会赢得这个游戏。Yes, I know that the money is very important. Yes, so so Zhifan just told me that you can't rely on green power plant all at once because there's not enough power in that one. But, but green is the one that you don't need to feed it, right? 
，它不需要燃料，它不需要燃料，它也不用限制它要放在什么位置，对，所以它可以很适合当做就是任何的有弹性的地方，你有空白的地方都可以把它放进去的。可是它只有给你三分。呃两分或三分。对对对对对对。Oh, because because there's not a, not a lot in the bag, even though you don't have to feed it, but it doesn't give you enough points. So, uh, of course, green energy is good, but we have to supplement it with at least one other kind, right? Okay. So, I know the nuclear power plant is dangerous. It gives you a lot of power, but you need to have the uh, disposal as well. So, uh, and there's a lot of coal, but it also gives you more pollution, right? So, gas energy is great, but but there's not that many, right? So each power plant has its own little sort of uniqueness to it. So you have to decide based on what happens, which one is the best for you. Okay, so uh, what about the public support and the pollution? How does that work? How does that work? 呃，在游戏里面的话呢，就是盖一些公共建设的时候，可以去增加自己的支持度，对民众的支持度，对。但是如果用火力发电、燃煤或是燃气的话，他们其实会产生空污，对。那如果游戏结束的时候，好比说我的空污有十八点，但是在我的这个名字就只有十二呢，如果不够六的话，我们会倒扣，游戏结束会扣三十六分。那如果不够七，就会扣四十九分。对，它是一个很严重的扣分，所以在游戏中要尽量的就是去兼顾这个部分，尽量去不要让它超过或超过太多。那我们要怎么来兼顾它呢？然后怎么怎么拿到名义？怎么能够呃，让我们不会这样恐恐怖的情况发生 ？So how do we how do we balance our pollution? How do we balance our public support so that we don't end up losing so many points? 对，这当然其实就需要精算了，因为就是在游戏的过程中，虽然游戏说结束的时候才发电，才产生空污，但实际上在玩的过程中的时候，就要去，当我把每一个火力发电厂放进来的时候呢，我就要去计算到，就是我会不会用到它来发电，然后发电量总共会有产生多少空污，都要在脑袋里面先算好了，再以这个为基础去想想看，就是，哎，我应该要拿到多少的名义才够。对，这样子。对，那当然就是，如果民意，如果一个不小心就是觉得呃很紧张，就一直从头到尾就一直拿民意。对，然后民意太多的话，其实好比说像这个状况，对，其实就是没有扣到分嘛。那其实对，但其实也浪费了，对，也多拿了，对。所以如果能够拿到一样多的话，就完全不扣，这样很刚好。但其实我自己的话，我自己觉得其实民意可以少一点是最好的，就是空污多一点，空污只比民意多一点点，因为这样子扣一分。对，但是这样的话，其实可以让我少拿一点名的话，其实我可能可以应用在更有效率的地方上面。对，那一次的机会可以用在更有效率的地方上面。Okay, so even though we're politicians, we're mayors, but the best thing to do is not necessarily to have too much public support because they don't give you any points. So if you can balance it out, maybe just one less public support. Will award you to dish dish the car you don't need to make a really best city is actually the best thing to do. Okay, so how do we get the cars we want? What if I have a car like so? We can see here we have the nuclear power plant here, but we have the disposal here. If I want both of those tiles, what do I do? Ah, you say, 就是如果我想要对，其实这个时候的话，我会我自己会设法就说服就是其他玩家对。让他们好比说说服他说，哎，你看这里刚好有一组啊，还有一个绿能，你拿这样的话刚好分数又很多，污染又很少，这样是不是很棒啊？之类的，像这个方式去说服其他人。那他如果把这些片拿走之后呢？因为这个圈圈会接起来，会越来越小。对，这样我就有机会可以去拿到，就是我想要拿的这两片。所以这个时候我会就是设法说服其他人，而且同时我稍微踩后面一些些的位置，让我可以跨跨比较多的区间去拿到这两片，这样子。Okay, so when you're trying to take tiles that are far away from each other, go for the ones in the back and try to convince the other players how good these other tiles are so they don't take it, right? All right, so I see. Now, what about the cars? Some of the cars, so we get points from our power plants, right? And fuel, and we also get points from the end game goals, but we can also get points from cars. So what are some of the cars that we should pay attention to? Give us some strategy tips on what kind of cars to take and what kind of uh, where can we get points when we finally lay out our city. Okay, 就其实游戏中它会有很多得分的机会。对，那里面的话，特别其实我觉得，尤其是好比说这这这这三张一在 A 时期的。在三张 S 级的黄卡呢，因为它其实给的分数其实是蛮多的，而且是蛮稳健的。对，那所以在游戏一开始的时候，这样可以去去帮自己决定一个方向。那这个分数，对，而且这个分数其实如果可以累积到两张的话
，这样同时你会发现，如果累积到两张的话，这样等于有十六分。对，再一个就，对对对，这样的话其实分数非常非常的多。对，所以呃，在一开始就抢这个，我觉得是很棒的。对，那还有另外一张很很容易被大家忽略的是这一张，这张就是它是，对，这张。对，他是就是在游戏结束，呃，就是拿到这一张的时候，他的最外围有多少电厂就几分。对，那这张的话常常容易被大家忽略掉，就是因为它其实全部加起来，其实分数有些时候可能会有十分左右。对，对。Oh, so the trick is to at the beginning of the game, so because the cards are separated into A, B, and C, so in the beginning, if you can grab. One or maybe even two of the same car. Give yourself a direction and try to build towards that. You can double the points uh, of how many points you can get. Also, towards the end of the game, there are some cars that will give you a lot of points. You don't even have to have power, right? This this car's power actually can't be used for power. It's the same as 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 the and the and the, some of the beginning cards give yourself a direction and some of the end cards so that you can grab a lot of points even if you cannot necessarily power those power plants. Okay, so does that pretty much cover everything? So we talked about it, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so for the players who want to get this game, where can we get them if they're not living in Taiwan? Oh, I want to get TBD. The TBD website is tbdgames.com. TBDgames.com. If you guys are interested in looking into Electropolis, you guys can visit TB, TBDgames.com to find out more information about it. Okay, Zifan, thank you so much for showing me how to play, how to win Electropolis, and thank you guys for watching.